Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me here on the mat. My name is Diane Bondi. Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in body positivity, yoga, personal empowerment, and body positive fitness, you have come to the right place, and I would love it if you would become a part of my family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I upload a, I upload a new video every single week. This week, I'd like to share with you that my online yoga platform, yogaforeveryone.tv, is having a sale in honor of my new book, Yoga Where You Are. Our subscription will be 50% off. So if you want to go over there and check it out, I have hundreds of videos that, that stem from very accessible, very inclusive, everybody on the mat, to strong and building strength and body positivity, to all of the things. So it's a site where I've really cultivated a place where we can all be on the mat together. So if you want to join me for that, check out yogaforeveryone.tv. While it's on sale, it's a limited time offer in celebration of my new book, Yoga for Ever, oh, sorry, Yoga Where You Are. My old book is Yoga for Everyone. But this is my new publication with my good friend Kat Rebar. So I'm really excited to share this book for you. Today's practice is going to be a quick and fun little practice with vinyasa with blocks. So we're just gonna move through some vinyasa, get really creative. There are gonna be strength moves in here. There's gonna be some power moves in here. You can do whatever it is you feel like doing, but just be here in the energy for now. So let's start at the top of our mat at standing, lifting and spreading our toes, rooting down through our feet. Let's inhale. Sweep the arms high to the sky. Exhale, bring the hands through heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands back through heart center. Two more on your own. Just go at your own pace. Yoga your way, right? So do it in a way that feels so good for you. Opening up the body. Beautiful. Let's take one more. Inhale all the way up. Look up and exhale. Fold forward, bringing your hands to your blocks. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, fold. I'm bringing my blocks down to their lowest setting. I'm going to step my right foot back to a lunge. Walk the blocks back, left foot back to down dog. Good. Pressing into the blocks, or hands on the mat, spreading your fingertips wide, rotating those upper shoulder or upper um, arms in towards the ears, rooting down through the heels. Inhale forward to top of a push up. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Let's do this three more times. Inhale forward. Exhale back, two more. Inhale forward. Exhale back, one more. Inhale forward, knees, chest, chin, lower down. Inhale, press the tops of the feet down, curl the shoulders back. Exhale, press back into tabletop position. Planting your hands on the mat, Go ahead and send your right arm all the way up to the sky, sliding your right arm underneath your left and releasing your head to the floor. Allowing the whole body just to soften here. Breathe. And if it feels good to you and you want to challenge a balanced pose, you can extend the left leg back behind you. Planting that left hand, you can lift the left leg up nice and long. So this is a little bit of a balance pose. If you fall out of it, it's quite okay. Don't be afraid. You can fall out of it. You can also move the leg around if it feels good to do so. Good. Let's lower your knee down if you lifted it. Inhale, lifting your right arm up to the sky. Slide your right arm down onto the mat and let's step our left foot forward to the top of our mat. Slide our right knee back. Staying here, stretching out the hip or bending the knee, reaching back and grabbing hold of the foot. This is a deep hip stretch if you want it. Again, it's only if you want it. Breathe. Good. Releasing the hip, press back, kneeling. Curl the back toes under, grab a hold of the outer edge of the left foot, and then see if you can lift the left leg out to the left. Whew. If not, stay in the lunge pose. Stay here. Okay? If you want to give it a try, you can extend it. And release. 
release. Come back to your tabletop position. Bring your big toes together. Knees wide. Stack the forearms on top of each other. Release the forehead to the mat. Just taking a moment to breathe here. And now inhale, plant your hands, roll up into tabletop position. And let's go ahead and slide our right foot forward toward the top of our mat. Taking a moment to breathe, sinking into that front knee. And again, if you want a little extra sensation, and it's more than a little extra, it's a lot of extra sensation, you can bend the knee, reach back, grab a hold of the foot. If you can't grab a hold of the foot, I'm going to grab a hold of my leg warmer. You can also grab a hold of the heel. Whatever you can reach back there. What I usually do is if I'm having trouble grabbing a hold of my foot, I will adjust accordingly. Try sliding my leg back and just moved up on my pad and see if I can get a little bit closer to grabbing a hold of the foot. So it's only, it's up to you. Grabbing a hold of your pants, using a strap here would be ideal. Whatever you have around you. Breathing deeply and slowly. Good. One more breath. And let's release this foot without slingshotting it down. We can curl the left toes under, slide the hip back over the knee. Pause here for now. Stay here for now. If you want a little bit more of an adventure, and you can always choose your own adventure, you can grab onto the outer edge of that right foot, kickstand out the left foot, and see if you can lift the leg out to the side. Stretch. Good, one more breath. And now slide the leg back behind you. Let's come back to a downward facing dog. Taking a moment to breathe here. Pedal your feet out. Just notice what's going on in your body. Root down through your heels. Release your head. Breathe. Lifting up onto the toes. Come forward to plank pose. Lower down knees, chest, chin. Roll through cobra. Press back into child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide. Stack your forearms on top of each other. If child's pose is not your jam, bring the soles of your feet together, sitting on your bum. Take in a butterfly pose instead. Good. Let's come up onto our hands and knees, make our way to seated. And now let's cross, we're going to do a fire log pose. A couple of options. You can bring the soles of your feet together, knees wide this way. Or you can stack your right or left leg on top of your right, press into your feet and gently Lean forward into the pose. So this is fire log pose. It's a lot of intensity here. Make sure you give yourself lots of time to explore it, a little bit of a break. Good. Breathe. And now planting that left foot in front of your shin, grab a hold of your left knee with your right hand and twist. Coming back through center, chain sides, stack. Lean forward, pressing out through the feet. Remember, you can always come to butterfly pose here as well if you like. And now planting that 
top leg in front, and we're gonna twist into the top leg. So this happens to be my right leg, my chin on the floor, holding my left knee, or holding my um, right knee with my left hand and twisting. Good, and now inhaling, making our way all the way onto our back. Slowly lowering down and gently rocking side to side. Breathe. Floating your arms out into T, letting the knees fall over to the right side with a stretch. Back through center and falling over to the left side. Oof. And coming back through center, let's take a half baby pose. Pulling back on the knees. Taking a moment to breathe. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, draw it in. Oh, breathe. Mm -hmm. And planting your feet flat on the floor. And bringing your knees up or your feet up as wide as your mat, knees fall in, bringing the base of the thumbs between the eyebrows and just relax, breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Thank you so much for joining me today on your mat. Feel free to stay here for as long as you like and enjoy some final relaxation. Just breathing deeply and slowly, maybe even taking a nap if it's available to you. Thank you for joining me on your mat today. Remember to come as you are, to use what you have, and to do what you can. I'll see you next time.